you. Thank you. How does it feel to be back with the team? Um, it's always, you know, good being back with the team, you know, being around uh, basketball. Um, you know, it's all love here, support. So, so it's always, always good being back. Steve said that you'll be able to play tomorrow. I guess, how were you able to kind of keep up some of your conditioning and, and stuff while you were away so you didn't have to have a longer ramp up period, as I know? Yeah, right, um, like just getting working, you know, when I can. You know, it's not wasn't my first priority, but I did make it a priority to get some work in for sure. Obviously, that's hard when you're going through personal issues. How have you been able to, I guess, channel your emotions to be there for your family, but also be back now that you're here, be present uh, and, and be a great teammate and, and do as best as you can? How have you just been channeling mm -hmm. the roller coasters of the emotions you've been going through? Um, you know, just taking care of, you know, what I have to take care of. Um, and, you know, being present uh, for what I have to be present for and, you know, and when I think it's, you know, it's the appropriate time to, you know, come back. You know, that's what I felt like. Um, so now, I'm, you know, I'm back here with the team and, you know, ready to get to it. Thinking about, you know, when it's an appropriate time to come back, um, you know, whatever took you away from the team, has, has that kind of subsided? Has that boiled over now? Um, yeah, not exactly. Uh, but, you know, I just, you know, take it day by day. Hi, Andrew. Um, while you were out and you saw the winning road game trip, like what excited you about where the Warriors were uh, and that you're excited to come back in and keep contributing to? Um, we're on the rise. You know, we found something good, um, you know, found that identity that we were searching for and you know we put pieces together that worked um and it's been a special you know last um few games um we really put something good together and everyone's playing well um playing together and we look like the you know the real golden state warriors well how would you describe that identity um you know we're, we're sharing the ball getting up and down playing fast aggressive Defensively, we're, we're locking in. Um, and, you know, most importantly, we're having fun on the court. You know, I feel like when we're having fun, that's when we're most dangerous. Wiggins, being back, dealing with whatever it is that you're dealing with off the court, how does it kind of feel to be back around your guys? Does that help to deal with what you're dealing with or help you channel some energy into just being back with the team and playing ball? Um, For sure. You know, uh, just, you know, being around the team, you know, it's all – it's all love and you know support. You know, um, it's a it's a family here. Um, you know, and you know when I was away, I, I missed the guys and obviously basketball. And you know, I'm happy to be back. Andrew was back out on the court. Did did he come back today or? Came back, Andrew came back yesterday, and he um, practiced today, and he'll be ready to play tomorrow. Oh, wow. So full participant in practice? Yeah. And then I guess that kind of answers part of my next question, which is he was able to maintain a lot of his conditioning, I guess, while he was away. So you guys feel comfortable putting him back Yeah, Yeah, we feel comfortable. Um, you know, I, we'll, we'll see um, how many minutes. I mean, you, you can't really simulate an NBA game, obviously. Um, so we'll see how he holds up, but he, you know, f physically he's he's perfectly fine to to go ahead and play tomorrow. Is he gonna start, or do you want to keep Moses in there for now? Um, I, I will. Um, I will most likely start him, okay. but um, you know, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm just. What does that? If Andrew starts, what does that mean for Moses? Is has he shown enough to continue to stay in the rotation? Yeah, Moses will. Uh, We'll continue to, to get time. He's uh, he's earned it. Um, he's um, you know he's he's really just um, been so professional about everything since the day he walked into this building two and a half years ago. He's uh, he's a pro. So um, you know I'm I'm excited to to continue to get him some minutes and um, you know hopefully we can bounce back from that that last game. That was a tough one. How much, you know, communication and what was kind of the nature of the communication did you guys have with Andrew while he was away from the team? 
Um, he, yeah, he and I stayed in touch. Uh, he stayed in touch with Rick and a couple of other people. With, without getting into any of the issues, I mean, how unfortunate and just kind of hard is it that for two seasons in a row now he has had to miss a chunk of time because that isn't easy for, I mean, any player to kind of have to go through. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the um, I, I don't care about the basketball part of it. It's, you know, um, life is way more important than, than um, you know, the game. And, and um, so the main thing is if any of our players has a, a life situation where they need to be with their family, then that's where they're going to be. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, you just, you just want um, everybody to be okay and to um, give them the, the space they need. And that'll always be the, the case for, uh, you know, with the, with the way we operate. You mentioned Moses' professionalism. How has he sort of evolved as a player? Um, I didn't see every game while you were on the trip, but I watched a bit of the Knicks game on DVR last night, and, and his defense really stood out. I know you had mentioned his defense against Brunson, but we hear, we hear and see how Jonathan has kind of grown in his third year. How is Moses different maybe now than – you know, when he was a well, I think he's he knows uh, the league better. He he understands um, personnel. Um, he, he understands angles and um, you know how to guard people on the ball, off the ball, all that stuff. Um, for young players, it takes time to learn, and um, and the learning never stops. You know, you're constantly having to. Uh, get to know the new players in the league and how teams are playing and what actions they're running. And um, so he's, um, he's very well prepared um, for everything that comes his way. Steve, how is everybody else's health? I mean, you look like you're fully healthy now or there's still some issues? Uh, Brandon and Steph and just, you know, what they were dealing with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody practiced today and, um, and they'll, be, they'll be ready to go tomorrow. kind of a continuation of some things that we talked about on the road with with Steph and another span where you have three games in four nights one of them a back-to-back -back. is there another opportunity that you're kind of looking at to maybe give Steph and some other of these guys who've had heavy wear and tear some rest? we're not uh, planning anything we were just you know taking it day by day and we'll see how everything goes all right see you guys